buddy. I was just looking at these mandalas in design bundles and I was thinking, I wonder if there's a way that we can do that ourselves. So what I did was I chose a mandala and I gave it a go and this is what I came up with. So it tur I turned it into a multi-layer. Okay, so you can see all the different um, layers and cuts I did. So if you don't want this many, um, I will show you how to do it so you don't have to have that many layers um, to your design. Okay, now just move that out of the way. So I just went to my library and I picked a mandala. So I'll pick the same one just to make it easier. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to do use offsets. So that's what I did. And I just had an experiment and I thought, oh, this is great. I can cut that out and make my own little mandala designs that I can put in a frame or use on a project. Okay, so all you have to do is you just select it, just highlight it, and then you go to the offset. So now if your lines are as big like this, uh, you can do an internal offset so you can have another top layer rather than start with that one. And also the other thing to remember is depending on how many layers you want, um, you would look at the size. So this was done in 0.1 increments, so that's why there's uh, so many layers. So if you were just going to look at um, doing it in 0.2 of a centimetre, that would mean that you would just have less layers, okay, because they're bigger, especially if you're doing the offset. So we'll do the offset and it automatically comes up as 0.2. So we will leave it as 0.2. So apply. It's just a quick video just to show you. So that's our top layer and we'll change that color so you can see it. And now we'll change this color and we'll just give it a different color, doesn't matter. Okay, and now we'll just do the same offset and it'll be 0.2, so we'll just click apply. And once that's done, move that and we just keep doing that and changing the color until we can't do it anymore. Okay, so there we go. And it'll probably give us one more after this. So we'll do the offset and apply. So one thing you've got to remember is it's always to keep the same distance um, between the layers, otherwise it won't look right. You'll have a, a one large step and one small step, so we don't want that. Okay, and then I'm just going to put them all together so you can see what it looks like. And to do that, I use the transform button, so and I press this, and I'll join them all together in all the different layers. Okay. So yeah, I hope that you can use this to do different designs and different shapes and um, words even. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you'll get some use out of this video. Thank you. Bye.